Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Deltarune. Or, actually, we're starting Deltarune. Welcome back to the Undertale franchise. Let's get into it. Uh, yes? What the hell is this music? <laughs> it's making me very uncomfortable. Ew. Are you there? Yes? I hate this. Are we connected? Oh my god. Ew. Excellent. This is gonna give me a panic attack, bro. I hate this music. <laughs> Very droning. Truly really excellent. Who is this speaking to me now? We may... Begin. I hate it. First, you must create a vessel. Select the head that you prefer. There's character creation? I did not know this, actually. <laughs> um, I've seen, like, fan art. I think this is the cannon hair, so I'll just go with that. Select the torso that you prefer. Oh, short sleeve, long sleeve, sweater, jacket, hoodie, all oh, hype, hype. This music is so gross. Select the legs. Ew, I don't like it when the long leg, the thick leg is on that side. Ew. <laughs> Are these any different? I don't see any difference in them. This is your body. Do you accept it? Yeah? Excellent. This is elevating my heart rate. I don't really like this. You have created a wonderful form. <laughs> now, let us shape its mind as your own. What is its favorite food? Sweet, soft, sour, salty. Pain? Cold. Pain? What? What is pain food? Spicy? We'll go sweet. Your favorite blood type? I don't have a favorite blood type. C and D? Are these even blood types? What? Where's O? A, B. What color does it like most? Blue? This is really anxiety inducing. Please give it a gift. Since this is the Undertale series, we're going to go with kindness. How do you feel about your creation? It will not hear. Love, hope, disgust, or fear? This whole process is nasty, so I kind of feel disgusted. And fearful, but I think it's mostly because of this gross background and this nasty music. So we're, we're gonna go hopeful, because I hope it's not horrible. <laughs> Have you answered honestly? No. You acknowledge the possibility of pain and seizure? What the fuck? No? <laughs> Understood. Name your vessel. Is this like an Undertale type meme where, like, you name it, but it's not. I'm naming someone else because. They have a canon name. I know their name is Chris. I've seen it everywhere. We called it James. It. Ew, that feels gross. Like it's not a person. And what about the creator? Well, I'm also James. 
Should I do this? Is it gonna be like the creator and the vessel are both referred to differently, so I shouldn't do it James? James. Of course. Of course. Of course. They are the same. James. Thank you for your time. Oh, your answers? Your wonderful creation will now be discarded. No one can choose who they are in this world. Your name is... <laughs> Chris! Toriel! <laughs> Hi, Toriel! See, I, I did know that Undertale characters appear in this game, but they're different. Um... I think it I think this is like a Undertale AU pretty much. Like same characters but have lived different lives are in a different scenario. The question is whether that is part of the story or are we just re reusing them because they're popular and we like them and we felt like that there was more we could do with them, right? Time will tell, I suppose. Chris, if you do not wake up, we will be late for school. We? Is she a teacher again? I will wait outside for you, alright? Bye, Toriel! Oh my god! So is she our mom? Two beds. Huh. Why is our side gross? Our side is gross and empty, and there's nothing on our shelves. Even our lamp is dark, or, well, this side is so colorful. It's a computer desk. There are many boxes under it, filled with old books. There are CDs under the bed. Classical, jazz, religious ska. There's also a game console. as one normal controller and one knockoff one. <laughs> Very relatable. I bet the knockoff one is mine. Is why religion exists in this universe? In the Delta Rune universe? Very interesting. So this is my brother slash sister, I assume. And they have a they are very accomplished. Look at all those trophies. I feel like the art is kind of upgraded. The drawer is mostly empty except for a school cross country shirt with a tear in it. There's nothing useful in this drawer. Closed drawer. Your bed. It's a red wagon with a rusty bird cage in it. Looks like it's seen quite a few crashes. This is a pile of shit in the floor. It's stained with what? <laughs> it's a beautiful day outside. Okay. So, like I said, I know this is like an AU. I have very high expectations. My friend said that this like makes Undertale seem like a bad game. He said it's the funniest game he's ever played. Great writing. I've heard online that like the Combat is like makes Undertale feel unplayable, so I'm very curious to see how things work. A cactus. There's not much to say about it. It's not Sundere? <laughs> there are crayons in the drawer. Their labels have long faded, and there's no green. Hmm. This is big. What does the mirror say? That's like the Undertale meme. It's only you. Interesting. So, is this character depressed? <laughs> our room is very bare on our side. We have like a shadow over our eyes. And it's only you. That's a very like sad way of expressing yourself. Oh, also, I know that this character is non-binary. Um, I had seen a lot of discourse about that on Twitter. A lot of people... We're saying, like, you know, it's a video game. You're supposed to project yourself onto them. That's why they pronouns are used. And I was like, yeah, that kind of makes sense. So I didn't really see what all the controversy was about. Um, That made sense to me. But after the beginning, I mean, it very clearly <laughs> was like, no, you're not projecting yourself. You are not playing a character that you create. This is a person whose life you are living. Your vessel was rejected. There are many books. Tales of Snails, a storybook. 
Toriel still loves snails in this world, I guess. Snails do not have tails. A scientific refutation. Can snails help your garden? Um, not really. And a signed copy of history of hum of the history of humans and monsters by Gerson Boom. Did I say this character is non-binary? That might not necessarily be true, but they use they them pronouns and are referred to with that in game. I didn't want to go. Oh, that's a bathroom. Okay, I was about to say I didn't want to go outside. You look inside the sink cupboard. There's a can of Ice E's Cool Boys body spray. Spray for the boys, flaming hot pizza flavor. <gasps> what the hell? It seems to be almost entirely full. I wonder why. That must have been a Christmas gift from Grandma. Does the toilet flush it? Yes or no? You flushed the toilet, let's go! On the shower ledge, there's a small container of apple scented shampoo. And a gallon sized container of pet shampoo. That must be for Toriel. And probably whoever shares the bedroom with me. Unless I have a human sibling. There's a photo on the fridge. It's of you, your mother, and your brother. So, I, Toriel is my mother, okay. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. That's nostalgic. There's some cinnamon -y batter caked on the stovetop. So does she not use fire magic? Cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters and gingerbread humans. Cookie run kingdom? Oh. It's a trash can. Somehow it's emitting a pleasant floral scent. Interesting. Ew, no, scented trash bags. I hate those. It's a landline phone, but you already have a cell phone. The phone is ringing, but you can't get it. You're already on the phone after all. <laughs> uh, we have stats. Yeah, there's the name Chris. Oh, two dollar sign. A uh, ten attack, ten defense. Weapon, pencil, armor, bandage. Why do we have the bandage now, though? It's Cheriel! <laughs> the beloved living room chair. That's so good. It's the TV. Doesn't seem to even be plugged in anymore. It's a very old TV. Uh, too old for a time where cell phones exist, potentially. Oh, this chair doesn't have a name. It's a book of hymns. We are a religious family. That is interesting. Toriel, I don't know, her garb in season... Not, I was going to say season one. I meant in Undertale. Kind of reminded me of, like, a religious garment. Chris, there you are. We might still be able to make it. Chris, it is a beautiful day today, is it not? I hope it stays this way when Asriel visits next week. Oh, but I wonder... After the excitement of university, Asriel's in college, will he still enjoy coming home to this little town? So we are on the surface. Oh, look at him all. Cat house. Oh, that was bratty. Oh, that's Undyne. She's a cop? Librarby. <laughs> are people mad about Undyne being a cop? There's one parking spot for a car. Do, 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 do. Ah! <laughs> so is Toriel still a teacher? Mm -hmm. Oh, the hug. So cute. <laughs> oh, Alphys is the teacher. So does everyone have a... Relate. Is that monster kid? Oh, Chris, we thought you weren't coming today. We're doing group projects this month. Uh, so walk around and find a partner, okay? This is fire music. Is that a Timmy? I know this is, uh, Noel, I think. And this is Birdly, I think. This is a Timmy with a hat. This is maybe Monster Kid, judging from the back. This is a Snowdrake? Or a cool drink. This is a worm boy. I don't know who that is. This is a, a thing here. Can we interact with any of this? The computer's wallpaper is a rotating slideshow of nature images. And rarely, an image of two buff superheroes embracing and blushing. Okay. 
Oh, we'll go to Timmy, because I love Timmy. Crisp! I want very sorry Tim already had partner. Ew. What was that? Yo, Chris, show up earlier next time. Is that Monster Kid? I can't tell. I end up having a partner with Snowy, haha. <laughs> now he keeps turning to me and saying howdy partner like a cowboy. Partner? I hardly know her. <laughs> what do you think of that one? Funny, right? No? <laughs> well, I got news for you, pal. I already got a partner. Scram. Still trying to do jokes, I see. Worm boy? They're so cool. Chris, you know Jockington and Caddy are always partners. This is Jockington? We're the ultimate academic duo ever since our first gym class. It was a hula hoop day, and they ran out of hoops for us. So she used me instead. That's our origin story. Click, click, tap, tap. Taken. She would be huge on TikTok, dude. Is this... Birdly. Ah, Chris. Late again, I see. People hate this person. I don't know- I, I know names, but I don't know, like, any characteristics. Hmm, you need a partner? Sorry, I'm already partners with the second smartest student, though- Wait. Chris, now that I think about it, your un unique skill Your unique skill set might help a lot on this assignment. Pfft, not. Okay, I see why people hate them. I like the way his face is extremely contorted, though. I actually want to get an A. Hey Chris, what's up? Did you lose your pencil again? No, I actually have it equipped. <coughs> Cough. Here, you want the candy cane one or the one with lights on it? Huh? You want to be partners? Um, sorry, Birdly already asked me. I thought she looked smart. But I could ask Miss Alphys if we could make a group of three. I'll ask if you're sure. Not yet, I want to talk to Alphys. Yeah, I'm sure there's someone else you can ask. There actually isn't. What? What? I, am I watching on my phone? It's schoolwork, of course. Uh, animated schoolwork. And hey, Chris, have you chose a partner yet? So is everyone's personality like the same? Can I leave? Um, Chris, the hope is that you choose someone in the class. Are these flowers? Are they from Undyne? It's a bunch of roses. Doesn't say. All right, let's get a group of three going. Miss Alphys, um, is it okay if we have a group of three? Hey, what? No, I do not approve of this. Abort. <laughs> what, what? But Chris doesn't have a... Noel. What were you saying? She was just saying we're fine being alone. Oh, she's shy. Birdly overpowers her in their relationship. Uh, actually, I just wanted to know if... Noel, can you please speak up? Hi, Susie. This is my friend's favorite character, uh, Susie. He likes her a lot, I think. I don't, I don't know what vibes I get off of this. <laughs> Am I late? Oh, this is the one that's like, uh, where the, God damn it, where are we, Chris? Where the hell are we? Oh, n no, you're fine. We were just, uh... Choosing partners for the next group project, and, um, Susie, you're with Chris. Great. <laughs> this is awkward. So this is the delinquent type, I assume? And, uh, now that everyone's here, I'll write the assignment. What is it? Some dumb bullshit. She don't have chalk. <laughs> This is the third time it's gone missing, and you all know I can't start a class without some. Fetch quest. How about this? If no one speaks up, everyone gets in trouble. Damn. <laughs> Anyone? P please? Hey, there might be a box in the supply closet. Miss Alphys, why don't Susie and I? Good idea, Noelle. Susie, since you came in last, why don't you go get it for me? How does Susie respond? With an ellipses. Whatever. Damn. <laughs> and Chris, can you go with her and make sure she uh, actually gets it? And uh, stays out of trouble? Thanks Chris, see you later. Okay.
Yeah, I thought that was a cigarette. <laughs> Homegirl's eating chalk? My strange addiction. That was the encounter sound. Chris. Didn't see you there. Hey. <laughs> you didn't see anything just now, did you? Uh. Hmm. You can't even say? Am I, does, is my character a mute? Risk talk to end game universe, but does this person not even does Chris not even talk in universe? Chris, oh shit. A. Oh. Let me tell you a secret. Well, she's smiling. Oh. Quiet people piss me off. Okay, what? Why the fuck does my friend like Susie? <laughs> I, d I hate her. Cool theme? Oh my god, I love her now. You think just because you don't say anything, I can't tell exactly what you're thinking? It's over. I caught Susie eating all the chalk. This was her last chance. Now she'll finally be expelled. We got beef? <laughs> Come on, Chris. Don't act shocked. You know it's true. Everyone's waiting for it. Everyone wants it. So, congrats, Chris. You got me. I'm done for. Just, let me say one little thing. Seems like a waste to get expelled just for having a snack. So, Chris, if I know you're gonna pull the trigger... <laughs> why don't I just get expelled for some real carnage? Chris, how do you feel? About losing your face. Oh my god. Homegirl, chill with the aggro. Say JK. Nah. Chris, you've got a good mother. Oh, she likes Toriel. It'd be a shame to make her bury her child. Alright, let's get this over with. We'll get more chalk, mosey back to class, and then Chris? You'll do our project. How's that sound? Whoa. Damn. I have no agency. Don't bother answering. If you haven't gotten it by now, your choices don't matter. Ooh. Ooh. Is this like in a meta kind of way? Like my, my vessel was tossed out, now Chris has no agency over their life? Let's go, freak. I don't want to go with you. <laughs> the locker's covered in Jockington memorabilia. Are you ready for the Sadie Hawkman's dance? At this dance, all the chaperones wear giant hawk heads and screech at any students that make contact while dancing. Excuse me. You drank from the water fountain. <laughs> People put their mouth on that, you know. Chris? What, realize the baby classroom was a better fit for you? Hey, actually, I should come with you. Maybe I'll find a better partner in there. Nah, actually, let's not. Wrong way, Chris. Why does that kind of go hard? Duh, 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 duh. What if I try to leave the school? You just gonna skip school? Wait, am I supposed to snitch on you? That'd be rich, huh? So am I like a notorious snitch? <laughs> nah, I wouldn't. Get back here. Okay. Go. God, can you walk any slower or what? Nah, I get it. Not used to walking around without someone holding your hand? <laughs> I feel like that's an Undertale reference. Come on, freak. Alright. Bet. Supply closet. Well, here's the closet. Too bad. We were just starting to have fun. Well, that's menacing. What the fuck? Oh, we see your eyes. Hey, Chris, is it me, or is it really dark in there? The darkness of that room is, like, emanating into the hallway. What's the hold up, Chris? You gonna go in or what? That, the character did that on their own. Fine, if you're gonna be a wimp, I'll... 
We'll both go in at the same time. She's a coward. It's just a supply closet. Or is it? See, why are you so scared? There's nothing in here but old papers. Let's try to find a light switch. That's weird, I can't find a switch. Guess it's further in. This feels like a Narnia type beat. Uh, kind of big for a closet, huh? You'd think we'd have reached the end by now. Hey, Chris? I think this closet's, uh, broken. <laughs> there aren't any walls. Well, we've worked hard enough. If Alphys wants chalk so bad, she can get it herself. Let's split. The door is going to be gone. Oh, it's not. Okay. Well, shit. <laughs> what the? This isn't funny. Let us out. Let us. What the fuck? The floor, it's... Is it dissolving? Oh! <laughs> Oh wow, that was so cool artwork. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> Did we just get transported to another world? Oh! Whoa! I look different now. Whoa, the footsteps. This is weird. Oh, you can sprint. Yo! The game is goaded now. <laughs> That's like honestly such a huge quality of life. At times you see it flickering. The light only you can see. By second nature, you reach out and save. Oh. Question marks for location. What is that thing? The oh, fuck? Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> it scared me. What the hell are those things? They look like, uh... Like those things, like, behind a door that you flick them. You know, you know those things. This is tar. It's too dark to see anything. Ew, an eye. I saw something up there, didn't I? Am I crazy? I can't examine this eye? It's an eyeball. I want to look at it. Whoa. Body contains a human soul. Interesting. Attack, defense, magic. Wood blade. Oh wow, so I transformed, so did my pencil, into a, a wooden blade. Use toss key. Interesting. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Whoa, I saw something move again. Mudslide. Can't get back up there. What are you? Blob? Bloody eyes. Oh, and it's like a mouth. That's cool. Uh, split branch, branching pathways. What is this? There's something glowing inside. Take it? Of course. Got the glow shard? Excuse me? <laughs> what does this mean? Oh, fuck. A shimmering shard. Its use is unknown. I can't use it. Okay. Interesting. A red one. Oh! Whoa! That's so cool! You can actually take damage. My heart is represented. I feel like that's gonna happen a bunch. Oh, this is so dope. <laughs> okay, cool, cool, cool new mechanics! You bathed your body in the light. A power shines within you, breaking through the darkness. Any pain you may have had melted away. HP fully restored. What is this? 
In this land, only eyes blinded by darkness can see the way. That's gross. Oh, this is puzzle stuff. Oh. Okay, I get it. Let's just hit a hit a hard reset there. <laughs> okay. It's gross. It's so nasty. Oh, that one won't trigger. Oh, there it goes. Oh, I can interact with these things. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is... Whoa! What was that black thing? I'm not crazy. You guys saw that. Whoa! <laughs> I bet it's Susie. Yep. She's scared. Hey, b back off. Come any closer and I'll... She has a soft side. This is the version of her that I knew. I saw the, the, the bracelets and stuff. It's cool. I like her colors here, too. Chris? Phew. Hey, don't scare me like that, dumbass. Unless you want to get clocked in the face. <laughs> wow, she actually said dumbass. Maybe, goddammit, Chris, where the hell are we is an actual quote from the game. Uh, Undertale was like E or E10. This one is teen, so we can say big boy cuss words. Anyway, enough screwing around. We gotta find a way out of here. Um, where is here, anyway? It doesn't matter. You, you got us into this mess. You get us out of it. Did I get us into this mess? Lead the way, Chris. Oh, we have a follower now? Interesting. Oh, Susie. Main axe. She has way better stats than me. Mean girl. Won't do anything but fight. Has a spell called Rude Buster. Rudeness and crudeness. Both 100. <laughs> well, what are my... I have question mark, question mark. I We're probably going to be able to choose upgrades later. Oh my god, never mind. You walk way too slow. I was running. Well, she does have max rudeness and crudeness. You gonna try and climb up that? Hey Chris, there's someone up there waving at us. Any idea what they want? To beat us up? Run, Chris! Oh, this is so cool! Oh my god, the varied gameplay. It's like the Undyne fight, but with actual stakes. Or the Undyne ambush. Oh. Good music. <laughs> Down here. Oh boy, slide. Do we have to avoid? Uh, nah. Oh, we do have to avoid. Let's go. This is so good. <laughs> oh. Where the hell are we, bro? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck's going on. Ew, color changed. I actually like this. The the blue is cool. It's so dark though. It's dark and empty. Ooh. Okay, well now it's beautiful. <laughs> but very dark still. Oh, you're not dead. Sweet. Got any idea what the heck this place is? Me neither. Wonder if there's anyone in that building up there. Ooh, I love how curved it is. Uh, that's what she said. But no, it's very aesthetically pleasing. Looks like a shop, but the door is locked and no one's inside. Oh yeah, I see the money bag. Well, this one's a question mark. It's locked. Ooh, this is a weapon place. It's locked. And an inn? It's also locked. In front of you, a castle looms beneath the empty town. A black geyser emerges from it, piercing endlessly into the sky. The power of this place shines within you. Castletown. I'm noticing it doesn't say you're filled with determination anymore. I wonder why. It could just be to distance itself from Undertale? Or maybe there's a thematic reason. A castle. 
Why the hell is there a castle inside a supply closet? Why is there any of this in a supply closet, girl? Welcome, heroes. Who's there? Do not be alarmed. I am not your enemy. Please come forward, both of you. Who is this? Is this the third main character? Uh, what is it? The cute little creature. I, I made a banger tweet, putting it on screen now. Uh, the creature with the blunt. <laughs> I think it's Ral say I am the prince of this kingdom. The kingdom of darkness. Chris, Susie, there's a legend in this land. A legend that one day, two heroes of light will arrive. And fulfill the ancient prophecy. Foretold by time and space. Please, heroes, listen to my tale. No, <laughs> we'll of course we'll listen. Very well then. Once upon a time, a legend was whispered among shadows. It was a legend of hope and dreams. Oh, best Undertale song. It was a legend of light and dark. This is the legend of Deltarune. Well, let's go. For millennia, light and dark have lived in balance, bringing peace to the world. But if this harmony were to shatter, a terrible calamity would occur. The sky will run black with terror. Alright, yeah, a sad story and scary and all, but the music go hard, and the land will crack with fear. Then, her heart pounding. Whose heart? Oh, the Earth's. <laughs> the Earth will draw her final breath. Only then, shining with hope. Three heroes appear at World's Edge. A human. A monster. And a prince from the dark. Only they can seal the fountains. And banish the angel's heaven. What? <laughs> Only then will balance be restored. And the world saved from destruction. Today, the fountain of darkness. The geyser that gives this land form stands tall at the center of the kingdom. But recently, another fountain has appeared on the horizon. And with it, the balance of light and dark begins to shift. Okay. Chris, Susie, thank you for listening to my long tale. How does this person know us? I deeply believe you two are the heroes of the legend, that despite whatever enemies you may face, you two have the courage to save the world. Oh, save the world. <laughs> another another banger uh, Undertale track. Delta Warriors, please won't you accept your destiny? <laughs> Susie's like, fuck this shit. Uh, nah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Me? Some kind of hero or something? <laughs> you got the wrong person. I, but Susie, without you, the world will... Don't care, didn't ask. <laughs> so what, if the world gets destroyed, it's none of my damn business. <laughs> Might even be kind of fun, honestly. <laughs> anyway, Chris, if you want to play pretend with this weirdo, stick around. I'm going to find a way out of here. Susie, wait, how does this person know our names, by the way? What the fuck? What? Excuse me? What an entrance! <laughs> this is the person from the dark side of light and dark, and also the person that was attacking us, I think. Banger theme, I love the little, like, Area 51 <laughs> explosion. The heroes are already running away, and they didn't even know I was here. My dad's gonna make me son of the moth. Who the hell are you? I'm oh, <laughs> the bad guy. <laughs> I love it. You clowns want to seal the dark fountain, huh? 
and still picturing you guys as clowns. Save the world from eternal darkness, huh? Huh? <laughs> Don't try to deny it. We both know you'll go east. It's your only way home. Thanks. But I, Lancer, won't let you go there. My friend likes this guy, too. And I've got a flawless two-step plan to ensure it. Step one, I thrash you. Step two, you lose. Hmm. Nice plan, kid. R really Yeah, actually. Mind if we use it on you instead? Yo! Whoa. Lancer busts in. Ooh, this is weird. Attend, or defend, spare, item, act? This is so weird. Not to call a spade a spade, but he's a spade. Not old enough to ride a motorcycle, so he set his bike on fire. He's only got one defense. Oh, Jesus, she's kill she's gonna kill him. <laughs> Hulk clowns, this bike is fueled by victory. Oh, here we go. Whoa. Cool attack. Don't know how I got an axe, but like, that's cool. You tell Lancer you can't tell the difference between his clothes and his body. That's a compliment? He seems flattered. His attack power went down. This is so weird. Oh, you make my feelings do wheelies. Whoa. Whoa, what's happening? What the fuck? What was that going around my heart? Lancer switches gears randomly to appear competent. Whoa. That's how you attack? So what are you guys doing after this? Ouch. <laughs> Lancer's motorcycle is actually just a bike that's on fire. Yeah, my friend did also tell me that um, it doesn't matter if you kill people on this game. You tell Lancer to watch out for Susie's attack. He readies himself. Oh. Ho ho ho, I'm the bad guy. Ouch. Wait a second. My bike's running out of fuel. Alright, you punkaroos. You had the luck of the draw this time, but next time, the losers will be you. <laughs> Bye, losers. I gotta get home before dinner. You won. Got zero EXP and $42. That was weird. <laughs> Are you two okay? Um, allow me to introduce myself more properly. I am... Jeez, can you take off the hood? I can barely hear you under there. Uh, alright. Yeah, that's, uh, Rousey. Hello everyone, I'm Rousey. This person, when they're not black... Oh, oh hold up, let me rephrase. <laughs> this person, when, uh, they have an alternate color scheme, is the cutest creature I've ever seen in my life. Chris, Susie, it's ever so wonderful to meet you. I'm certain we're going to become great friends, and... Best way to leave is east, right? Yes, that's where we'll... Got it. <laughs> See you at school, Chris. Oh, she's gone. Guess we're traveling with Rousey now. Um... I suppose it's just the two of us, then. Chris, I'm a prince, but I, uh, currently don't have any subjects. I've been waiting alone here, uh, my whole life for you two to arrive? Damn. That sucks. So, I'm really happy to meet you. I hope we can be good friends, Chris. Let's try to find Susie. She must be to the southeast. Okay. You can lead the way, Chris. Interesting music. Hey, Chris, I really think we should catch up with Susie. We can come back here after our adventure's over. And then I can bake you a yummy cake! Aw. Uh -huh. say the Lonely Prince is now your ally. The power of Fluffy Boys <laughs> shines within you. <laughs> we will save. So the first most very obvious thing I must note is, uh, Rousey is very clearly a, a, a rearrangement of the, the name Asriel? 
Uh, so not sure what that's about. But I think that's it for episode one. I'll catch you guys with more Deltarune next time.